In October 2018, I was bought an experienced flight at Kemble Flying Club. Fast forward 11 months and 28 hours of flying with some serious fun, and I'm about to fly my general skills test. And if I pass, I'll be the very proud holder of a national private pilot's license. Welcome to another episode of Learning to Fly. So this is a very different episode of Learning to Fly. It's my general skills test. I'm stupid because I'm filming it and it's real. If I fail, I fail. It will be a learning curve for us both. But hopefully I don't. I can tell you, it doesn't quite go to plan. Thanks for watching, and please note, this is edited, so some things have been left out. Gulfstream and Sierra is ready for departure. Gulfstream and Sierra, runway 26 grass, take off your discretion. The service wind 310 degrees, less than 5. Taking off, Gulfstream and Sierra. Okay, so we've got our abort point. <clears throat> okay. Okay. So, RPM max. Acceleration normal. Air speed active. Low level climb. Turn your feet. Flats away. Find that 73. Think and we'll go have Fox on to get the overhead center defending. Fox drop the port down then. Fox drop the port down then. Echo Sierra, final to land. Just maintain that centre line. Land at zero, runway 26, land your discretion. The fifth between 310 degrees left than five. And then just need to be aware of the gliders. I'm sure they'll be loving this weather today. Yeah. Okay, so we're on a normal training area now. Uh, I'm going to spare you going any higher at the moment because. Uh, you're dressed for the summer, so uh, <laughs> that's all right. Let's just start off with doing a uh, medium bank turn, level turn to the left through 360 degrees. Okay, you Yang, Roger. Have a good look. Take the grass, Jeff. Yeah, report find off of the grass. I've got an inspection and underway on the, the left. Anyway. Yep, sure. I'm sure I wouldn't go into that airspace, so I could be tight enough. There's the airspace there. Okay. Have a good look under the thing. Medium back turn. Having a good look. Yeah, your viewers will, uh, will notice here that uh, under test there isn't the normal sort of uh, instructor to student repartee here. It's all uh, a bit quieter than normal. Have a look again. Well, this is this is way too fast. Um, we up at 95 miles an hour. There's 360. Right, just a bit quick. So I'm just gonna, yeah, a bit more to handle than the other night. <laughs> that was uh, a touch fast, wasn't it? So this time, yep. I'll give you a more accurate brief. So we'll do a medium bank turn to the right. Yep. Level and at similar speed to our cruise speed. Okay. So we're going right and we'll come out this time heading to the south, if that's all right. Okay, yep. So to the right. Yeah.
good look. Good look above through the glass. That's good. No problems with airspace this way. Oh, uh, this this is a much you know this is a much better turn and. Uh, uh, after I'd qualified uh, what I really wanted to uh, to give the candidate a fair opportunity to uh, to do, to have a clear aim. East. Okay. Just going to turn the radio down slightly. Uh, right. Okay. Uh, let's. I'd like you to climb to 2,500 feet on this heading when you're ready. Okay. So we're heading south, and I'm going to have a good look around. So all clear above me as well. And airspace two. And I'd like you to climb at the best climb rate. Okay. So that's fine, 73. Well, that was a, a good look out, an airspace check um, going into this manoeuvre. No problem finding best climb rate. And uh, then a bit later on, I think, uh, best climb angle. Excellent. Let's continue on this heading, so yep. we're, we're on a southerly heading, which is great, Yep. at uh, 2,500 feet. And let's uh, slow the aeroplane down now to uh, so 70 miles an hour, straight level, 2,500 feet, okay. heading south. Well, this is part of the uh, straight and level check, heading, height and speed, all within the uh, parameters that uh, are defined, quite narrow parameters, so it's all good stuff. That's looking pretty good. We'll just sustain sustain that for a little bit longer. Yep. It all seems uh, good. Seems nicely trimmed and everything. Maintain that speed and turn on to a new heading. Uh, let's turn on to two two seven zero. Okay. Two seven zero. Yeah. Had a good look under that wing. Bit more right right up. bit of a climb there. Yeah, it's a little bit firmic, isn't it? It's making yeah. it a bit difficult, but do remember those um, requirements that yeah, you... Uh, yeah. The quantitative requirements. Okay. But OK, we'll take the cruise speed up to uh, 90 knots now. So, any 270. You're spot on there, you're s yep. very close to the height. So, <coughs> yep. 2,500 feet. Yep. Heading west, 90 miles an hour. Indicated airspeed. Yep. Oh, that's lovely. Okay, you've proved you could do that very well. So let's, let's come back to around about 85. Yep. All right, let's actually, we'll go into a descent, if you wouldn't mind. Yep. With the idea being that we're just going to do a descent, descending turn, yep. one, or two, one or two things there, then we'll level out, and then we'll climb back up again, so, okay. we, don't, so we don't end up I'm just having high. a look, look below the nose. Good man, yeah. Okay, let's do a descending turn onto a southerly heading. Okay.
Yeah, well, we're just running through this to look look at coordination and balance, and uh, all looks pretty good. And it's level out at 1,700 feet. 1,700, okay. Yes. All right, that's fine, we'll crack on. Yep. So let's do another climb when you're ready. Okay. Clear above. That's good. Clear of airspace. And this time, let's get to our best climb range initially. Okay. Uh -oh. Okay. And now I'd like you to demonstrate best climb angle. Yep, so that's going to be, it's 59. Basically 60. Come on. That's there. Okay, back to best climb rate. And I'd like you to do a climbing turn to the right. Okay. Have a good look. Okay, let's keep that turn going. And I'd like you to keep the turn going, but to level out at 3,000 feet. Okay. Level at 3,000, keep the turn going. And straighten out approximately on a northerly heading. Okay. Very good. So a few more boxes ticked. Great. Okay, so we wanna, now we're up here, we want to do some other uh, manoeuvres, so uh, I think I want to do some steep turns next. Okay, so I'm going to do my hazel check. Good man, that's what I was looking for. Yeah, so uh, hike firstly, we're at 3,000 feet on the Q&H, which is plenty. All right, let's kick off with a 45 degree bank angle turn to the left. We're currently heading 030. Uh, well, in fact, you can do just do it to 360 degrees. Okay. 45 degree bank level turn to 360 turn. degrees. Okay. Yeah, it goes without saying that Ben's uh, Ben's lookout and, and everything is pretty good, but the turn is never really quite 45 degrees. Maybe a bit steep. It's west. lost a bit there so let's get that altitude back well, what's what's really good here about um, is that, that Ben admitted his height loss and immediately deals with it uh, uh, and that, that's really important well it's a workout today <laughs> all right well yeah. uh, I was okay uh, totally happy with it no that was all it was acceptable but uh, let's try one in that case to the right yep through 45 degrees of bank. Yes. Uh, and through 360 degrees. Try and maintain the 3,000 feet accurately throughout. Okay. I'm going to have a good lift of that wing. Good look. Above. So, well. Bit more bank. Thank you. See that rate of turn increase. Uh, 
That was better, well done, very yeah, good. Okay, better. so finally, let's do a 60 degree bank turn. So I'd like you to basically go for 55 degrees bank. Yep. Give us a bit of safety margin, and if you go to the left and come out heading towards Malmes Bridge. Okay. So, so to the left, level 55 degrees of bank. Sure. Happy that other aircraft will have nice. seen us manoeuvring. Having another good look around. Lift the wing. We'll, we'll turn in. Power. More power. Yes, yeah, so this turn never really quite looks like 55 degrees, but uh, it's probably the camera perspective. I can uh, assure viewers I was felt it was 55 degrees. That speed's a bit quick. Very good. Okay, so we'll move on to do a uh, look at some of these um, unused latitudes. Okay. So um, I'm sure you remember that um, the random one's the important one where I have control and put you into yeah. a situation yeah. and then ask you to recover, okay? Yeah. And I'm okay. not going to tell you which that will be. So I want you to follow me through on the controls yep. very carefully. We've been manoeuvring and looking out and everything else. So I'm just going to take control of the top of the stick here. You have control. Uh, all right, that's very much indeed. And we will go. Uh, let's have a look now. So we'll. I'll add the power a little bit. Back, uh, have a good look out. Okay, so just find me through, and then when, when I take when I say recover. I just want you to take control. Let's yep. get a little maneuver around here. Okay. Recover. Oh, that's very positive. Well done. And level, you can level out now. We're over the 3,000 feet. Okay. Okay. So, we'll go. Okay. Uh, let's go do uh, another one now. So. And I have control. You have control. Okay, and I'm just going to maneuver a little bit, and then, uh, and then I'll uh, just. Uh, recover. Very good. And level out about three one. It's great. Very good. All right. Well, you better show me a fully developed store and recovery with minimum high loss. Okay. So we've done our hazel checks, we've been manoeuvring as well, I'm just going to quickly run through, we've got height, so I'm going to shut the power off, for the nose. Okay, you could level out again, that's fine. Okay, let's commence a descent. And, um, Just going to have another look. Yeah, let's change our heading as well so we have a good look out. Okay, I'd like you to commence a descent. Okay. And then... Uh, well, I've just seen the airspace is clear. Okay, and then uh, pretend you're on the approach to land. And you can put on uh, one and then full flat in sequence. Okay. First stage of flat. Here is report final, runway 26. Report final, runway 26. That's 70 miles an hour. Second stage, oh, it's down a bit. Great, so pretend you're on the approach to land, and then I want you to round out as if you're landing, and then pretend it all goes pear shape and recover at the incipient stage. Okay. Here we 
sort of played out yourself, but uh, yeah. one stage of flat. No flat. And we can level at 3,000, please. Okay. Okay, whenever you're ready, I'd like to show me a stall in the turn and recovery. I and mean, the emphasis being on the recovery, of course, but a recovery from a, a developed stall in a turn. Okay. So whichever way you like. Okay. Okay, well, check the right wing. Turning. And we have one more stall to do, so we need to go into the descent again. Okay. And get into the approach configuration on full flat. Yep. And we just need to do a stall and recovery with full flat. Okay. So. First stage. Bravo, report downwind. Full flat. Okay, so engine off. Uh, a couple of information. Raise the nose, raise the nose. On the uh, tower apron, uh, request engine start for departure. One stage of flat. And flat off. Oh, I might just need a minute, is that okay? Yeah, 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 <laughs> we're done with that. Okay. Oh, wow. That was, uh, yeah. Alright. We've done all that. Just relax. Uh, we can uh, start thinking now about descending to warm up. Yep. Yes, so if we um, if we commence a descent... Yep. In oh. fact, if you... I'll tell you what, let's... Can you tell me where we are now? Yeah, so we're sort of uh, above. We're south of uh, Minchinhampton Common. We're west of Marlesbury and Tetbury. And we're, you can you use the GPS. Yeah, oh. okay, so over Wotton Under Edge, heading obviously to River 7 and M5. Okay, well, we've been quite a while now, so it's probably a good idea to turn back in the yep. uh, direction of, of Kemble. Yep. So we'll start start heading back in that direction. Sure. That's good. We're doing well. We got, we got through an awful lot. That's fine. Yeah, great. You're doing, you're doing great. That's good. absolutely fine. Might actually just get some fresh air with the window. I know you all yeah. think I'm mad, but I feel a bit queasy. Oh, do you really? I oh, do, yeah. Uh, okay. Here you go. Just because of the intensity of thinking and, yeah, okay. you know, and stalls and stuff. Probably. Oh, right. and it's quite bumpy, isn't it? It's one of the bumpier it's days I've experienced. Continuous, isn't it? Yeah. All right. Well, we're going to keep your mind working so we don't spoil the opportunity. Of course. Uh, I'm going to give you an engine failure. Okay. So I think keeping you thinking will probably. Yep. And descending into warmer air probably all helpful anyway. So if you'd like to. Uh, consider that the engine has coughed and spluttered and okay. died. Sorry, three total feet. And, uh, well, that's bumpy over there. I'd immediately look here. Uh, I will be responsible for warming the engine during the descent. So okay. we can... I don't want you to pop the power on to run necessarily. Sure. To, yeah. So, trim is good. 66, a little bit back. Um, already looking at my field. Good. Okay. Wind very light today. Uh, all clear and airfield. Uh, um, can we divert? Probably bowl down. Yes, we can. So I would attempt to get in there. Two and a half thousand feet. Two thousand feet. Okay. Yeah. An attempt to get into bowl down now. Which runway? Restricted area ahead. Okay. Um, okay, so we've done wind, all good. Security. Oh, security, check. Okay. 
try and restart, so nothing's happening. Good. Oh. Uh, mayday, mayday, mayday. Um, Campbell Information Golf Golf Romeo Lima Sierra trying to. We've got an engine failure and hoping to land at bowl down and throttle off, ignition off. I'm hoping that that is... We're high key downwind now. If you do your run up checks in your present position, then I'll put you on the grass runway at golf to the back track once you're ready. Okay, we're good there. Just tidy it up a bit and we're going to have to go around. I don't know what's going on, there are people on the runway ahead, so let's go around. And that was fine. Okay. I don't know what on earth those people were doing on the runway. Mad. Okay, oh. keep your wits about you. Okay. On the climb out. Yep. Okay. Okay, so engine's getting, I'm we're going to pretend, the engine's getting pretty hot, so you reduce the power. Yep. Okay, and then you're looking at those gauges, sorting yourself out, and then blow me, it costs us butters, and you have an engine failure. Okay. Okay, so, trim, bring that back, wind. Such light wind, I'm going to attempt to come down here. Well, I didn't really have a clue where Ben was going here. Um, looked like he was not going to go to the field that would have been my first choice. But as an examiner, you just have to sort of keep quiet and see what see what happens. And he did position. He positioned okay, and uh, we'd have landed in this field fine. Well done. Take your flat. Go around. Yep. It's a bit high. Okay. Okay, just recover. How are you feeling now? Yeah, queasy, <laughs> actually. <laughs> All right. Fine, fine. We're almost there now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, so just climb away nice and steadily. All right, just, uh, just relax, save it easier. And again, we can turn towards Kemple. Yep. So that, you know where that is, I'm sure. Yeah, of course. We could we could land at Bowl Down Farm if those people move out of the way and just have a break. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I might be able to that one. Just pausing for thought, wondering whether that has any. Whilst it seems like a common sense thing to do. Yeah. Does it have any effect on the plan for the GST, which is to go out and fly? and return to the same airfield. I mean, we could potentially return to Gamble. Yeah. I just, um, but yeah, I feel like... Uh, because we could always have a break. We could go back, we could actually land that, to uh, land that Gamble. Yeah, yeah. And, um, Yeah, I, f I feel uh, like... Let's, let's do that. I feel like that would let's, be a sensible let's thing. Let's do that. So, 
find your way back to Keppel, all right? Well, I'm gonna climb. <coughs> well, uh, yeah, this is good. Yeah, sorry about this. No, no, not at all. So the only things we haven't done really are precautionary landing procedures. Yep. Uh, operation at minimum level. Yep. Uh, and aerodrome joining and circuits. Okay. Pretty much. Just approaches. Yep. Simulated emergencies. Da 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 da. Okay. And we quite a while. By the time we get back to Kemble, we'll have been nearly an hour. So. Uh, Let's go back, have a break, see how you feel, and maybe you come out and do the circuit work. Yeah. And fly off somewhere and do a, a, a precautionary landing procedure. Okay. Coming to information, Golf Golf Romeo Lima Sierra is north of Tetbury uh, for the rejoin. Golf Golf Romeo Lima Sierra, Campbell Romeo 26 left hand circuit, the QFE 1006, report overhead. 26 left hand 1006, can I request the downward joint? Golf Lima Sierra, you certainly can report entering the zone for the downwind join. We'll go Golf Lima Sierra. Okay, that's 5,000 feet, 1006. Three knots. Noise down, thank you. noise abatement area there. Quite right too, it's right my house. <laughs> <laughs> Golf Lima Sierra is entered the ATZ in the early downwind. Golf Lima Sierra. Golf Lima Sierra, report final. Are you going for the grass? Yeah, for the grass. Roger. Wilco, Golf Lima Sierra. Okay, so 1,000 feet. So trim, wind, trim we've got about right. Wind, looks uh, just slightly from the north. All clear. Good at the moment. Security's good, yours is good. Yeah, I'm securing you, check. Yep. Okay, turn to the twas. Fuel. Okay, Fuel. we're about 12 litres, so it's fine. Undercarriage fixed and locked. Okay. Campbell information, Golf Echo Delta Golf Jacket India, vinyl. 8 miles to south. Uh, vinyl. For overhead joint, Western Airfield information. Golf of India, one way two six left hand circuit, the QFE one zero zero six report overhead. Two six left hand one zero zero six will report overhead. Golf Golf India. The side slip. Speed. Sierra, final to land 26 grass. Golf Lima Sierra, runway 26 grass, land your discretion, the wind light and variable. Landing Golf Lima Sierra. That's great, so I, I'm going to uh, concentrate Papa. on everything that you're doing back to the hangar. Okay. Sure. Papa okay. Juliet, runway 26 hard, take off your discretion, the wind light and variable. It's My still discretion, go very Papa much Juliet. a part of the test, even yeah. though oh, we yeah. know we're going to come out and do some more. Yeah. You know, it's right back to shut down, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, what a horrible colour aeroplane. <laughs> Sorry, in my view, of course, I'm brash. sure the owner loves it. Yeah. Ferrari red. Is it a little red arrow? No, it's not quite red arrow. Is it red? Red arrow is darker red than that. Yeah. Ferrari red might be. Maybe. Yeah, might be, yeah. People would have been uh, be aware that uh, Ben's been uncomfortable for the last part of this flight. It's very easy as an instructor, an examiner, to forget that um, putting all the steep turns, stores and unusual attitudes together can be quite, you know, uncomfortable for someone who's not as used to it as as we are. So. Um, Overall, well done. We're going to take a break now, and uh, that's a partial pass. Good. A couple of firsts there. I think it's the first GST video on YouTube. 
And also, I wonder how many GSTs have been affected by the pilot not feeling brilliant. Possibly another first. As you can see from my Sky Demon log, we did a lot of going round and round and up and down, and it was turbulent, and I was concentrating, and yeah, it was tough. So on to part two. I'm going to release this as soon as I can. In the meantime, if you haven't already, please subscribe, click the notification bell, so you'll know exactly when that next video is out, and comment below. Where are you at with your training? What would you have done with those engine failures? What would you have done differently in the test? Full stop. Well, I'd love to know, so comment below on any of those things. Give it a thumbs up and I'll catch you next time.